Let's go and let the doggies out. They have been in the enclosure the whole morning while we were working on our new entrance. And now it is time to let them loose. As you can see, they are eager to get out of them. Bleib. Ja. Komm. They always run to the house thinking that there might be some extra food. Hmm, Franz? No. Franz here is a big teddy bear. They are now all going to check out the new things. And as you can see, of course this big pile is a new playground. But it won't be here for long. But if number eight continues on that, this pile <laughs> will be a lot lower tomorrow morning. And it has to be marked. And there's the first one investigating the new gate. Well, it's the same gate as before, but of course the change. It looks different and it smells different. And 
down there is a horse. The good thing is that these are Spanish Mastiff dogs and not the type of dog that likes to climb a fence. So some German Shepherds and Malinois, they would certainly simply climb up and then jump over. But they are too lazy for that. Which is a good thing. They are investigating of all the different and new smells on the other side. And of course they look at it, everything that has changed. But then as they cannot reach it, it will probably quickly fade out of their mind. See, they already lost interest. Except this one here. Hmm? Sniff locker. Ah. One wants attention and everybody wants attention. This is our area A7 where Life Terra will help us to plant 28,000 saplings. And if you are interested in lending us a hand, then you are invited as a volunteer we will provide transportation from airport or train station and provide you the food, a room to sleep, either in a hotel if you choose this, or in our cortijo, or you can pitch a tent and get all the services that you need for that. We will have a shower available and of course a toilet. And while we are planting, there will be catered lunch and later we can go and visit a bar if you still have energy left that you would like to spend. So you are invited to help us probably for a week or two or maybe three to get these 28,000 saplings into the ground. The event will start on April 9th. You can arrive on the Sunday before, it will be April 8th and you can stay for as long as you like and we definitely do appreciate your help and we will answer in kind by feeding you well and uh, hopefully making you happy. So mark the date and send an email to the address shown here and then we will coordinate this. So good morning. We are now finishing this part here. This what you see there it's going to be a temporary thing, so this will be uh, pulled tight here at the bottom and then it should serve as a second fence so that the doggies won't come in here. It will be connected there to the metal post as well and that way we now have a lock 
once this has been finished. And keep in mind this is temporary. There will be construction here on that side. And then this becomes a second entrance. It's going to be the entrance to the house. And therefore this is removable. This is not supposed to stay. Allí llega de sobra, ¿no, Stefan? Sí, allá de sobra. So let's have a look where we are. This is not done completely, but for the moment it is functional. So here on this side, there is enough stuff to tell the dogs, do not cross, do not jump, and do not dig. And uh, that there at the bottom, there is a piece of wire that is tensioned. So they can't really lift this. It is also connected here to the fence post. There is some tie down to put it that way. And this here on the top is not live, but they don't know about that. So that should work. And this is the temporary side. So there will be another driveway right there where we're looking at. But this is when we are building the house. The house will sit here where the backhoe currently is parked. And that hole is just to mention it also is uh, for a big water tank and now what is left is to remove more of the material and fill it up with stone and gravel and of course uh, let me go back a bit so we will take care of the right side and maintain a little bit of distance to the temporary fence because Right there, this will be the other driveway. So when you come in, you go left and park there, or you can go straight and then you are inside of the farmyard. And we also just closed the little gap that we had here on this side. There where the tool is hanging. So now we are ready. So that we can close this. Yeah, we need to move a bit material. And then we can close this at ease. And always have one gate closed while the other is open and the vehicle can pass. So we have a lock. And that means that the alarm system in the form of the eight docks is always on and we can still come and go. And eventually when the house has been built, there will be another small fence here on that side that goes there and then connects there where the two markers are, the, the two, two pieces there where the string is, because that's going to be the edge of the workshop. And there to the right, there will be a main door so that you can go out of the house, which is left, and then do a turn and then open that gate and also be in a farmyard as a person. But right here, so there's empty space, um, that's going to be a parking spot. Basically the idea is you pull in in reverse with the pickup truck, so that the tailgate is facing that door there, and then you can unload it and move stuff right into the house because the main entrance to the house that will be there. So is the idea. Every single piece that is hanging here from the ceiling is accounted for individually. Nothing can escape. Each leg has a label with an identification number. 
Now Angel is taking one out to have a closer look. And here it is. You can see how yellow the fat is and you can also notice how it has shrunk. Now the weight is significantly less than when it was fresh. When you start cutting the ham, it is important to keep this fat in order to close the cut surface again so that it won't dry out. To get your own leg of ham, you can head over to our web shop and order some. There are two options for you to buy the ham. We offer envelopes with 100 gram of hand sliced pieces of ham. And there is the full leg. In the case of a front leg, it's about four to six kilo each. Families in Spain keep the leg in the kitchen and everybody cuts off a slice whenever they are hungry. Well, let's solve this problem here. This needs to go. And now with that out of the way, it should be possible to close this completely. Well, maybe. Yeah. It's need cleaning there. Now I will do this in a moment. But then we can close this. And once it's closed, we will have no lens. So I think that looks pretty good. We had to remove a little bit of this material there by hand. And tomorrow Angel will take care of the part in the center. He had to run out for some medicine. That's when life catches up to you. And this definitely is now a lock. And I just got off the phone tomorrow Apparently also a big excavator shows up to start preparing that place over there. Friday we expect some rain, but then the week after they should be preparing everything to install the concrete slab. And the big excavator will also take care of a few other tasks, including a pond. So if I rotate myself somewhere over there. There is the place, so there we get some material and also some fill um, for the place for the containers. And also we take care of this area so that later on we can build a riparian area. And uh, the big excavator will also help to level this so that definitely the concrete slab can then be built next week. So things are falling into place. After that long pause, I'm very happy that now we are back in the game. It was a huge problem that we had to wait that long and hopefully now we get everything sorted out quickly so that we can do the wood construction while the temperatures are still okay because once we are in 35 degrees centigrade from maybe 11 o'clock on, um, that's bad, especially when you have the wood exposed to the sun, it will crack. And uh, I try to avoid this, so it's a little bit of a challenge. But I hope we get this all sorted in time. As I just mentioned, the film material, 
the fill material is for this place here. So that is where we want to have this material because we have to raise the part there in the background. So that is on the same level as there where the concrete mixer is standing. 